meeting of the Clay County School Board will come to order. Um, this is the public hearing on the budget. It looks like Mr. Cravey is the public today. <laughs> uh, Dr. Copeland, if you would like to start with, I guess, number one. No, sir. Oh, there's on and off. You have to push it up to on. Push it the other way and then talk, and we'll see if it's on. Uh, you got it? Okay. Yeah, oh boy. We're, all we're, right. Hey, we're all techno savvy around this place. <laughs> we're good. Thank you. I'm improving. Okay. All right. First of all, we review the mill levies and the rollback rate. These are the mill levies for 1415. This levy, referred to as the required local effort mill levy, is set by the Department of Revenue. That is given to us. We must levy that levy to participate in the FEFP. Um, this is a basic discretionary levy, 0.748 mills. Uh, the good thing about that mill levy is that the state will participate if we don't generate the state average, and we don't. So they give us uh, several million dollars uh, on top of what we generate locally. So the two of those are the only mill levies that we have in the uh, general fund or the operating, and that totals 5.722. The only ad other additional mill levy is the total, is the capital outlay mill levy of a mill and a half. So our total millage for 14.15 is 7.222. This is the calculation of the rollback rate. The only one that means anything as far as the rollback rate is the required local effort mill levy. For 14.15, it is 4.9740, and all you need to do is calculate the rollback rate, and if the 4.97 is greater than the rollback rate, which it is, by 0 .0061, which is 12%, percent point one two, then we have to advertise as a tax increase. Last three or four years, that rollback rate has been greater than the proposed mail levy, and so therefore we have not had to advertise for a tax increase. The overall increase is 0.86 of a mill. Um, so the total mill levy is 7.222, the total rollback rate is 7.1602, and the increase over the rollback rate is 0 0.0618, which is 0 0.86 of a mil. Uh, uh, I mean, 0.86 percent. That's I have to review that. I know you all love it. And so, uh, any questions? Okay. The next is the budget. <clears throat> Our total budget board and and superintendent is 312 million. 462,943. The this column here represents the total estimated expenditures or appropriations for each fund, and I won't go through each one. You can look at it. Uh, obviously, we have general fund, debt service, capital outlay, school food services, uh, which is referred to as a federal program, along with any 400 um, numbered program would be federal programs. So our total is 312,462,943. So, any questions, Madam Chair? Sure. So when you say um, when you say it's a federal program, Fund 400. Do you mean that all of that money comes from the government, or? Yes. Okay. Um, even, well, yes and no. Yes, for 420 slash 421 and 434, yes. 
no for school food services. Some of that 14 million 936 is generated by meal prices. Correct, right. The okay. majority of that, though, would be federal money and National School Lunch Act. Okay, that's mm -hmm. cool. Thank you. You bet. Anything else, Madam Chairman? I don't believe there's any other questions. Thank you. Okay, you can now call for the public hearing. Okay. Um, I'll open the public hearing for comments on the 2014 budget and millages. Is there anyone here who wishes to? <laughs> uh, Come on, Erica. <laughs> uh, looking that there's no one to make any comments, uh, I'll close the public hearing. Uh, now I'll entertain a motion to adopt the 2014-15 required local effort mill levy, and you do have a sh sheet underneath your agenda. I'll move to adopt the required local effort mill levy of 4.9740 mills, which is 0.12% more than the rollback rate. I have a motion by Ms. Kirika, second by Ms. Bullock. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries 5-0. Now number five, adopt the 2014-15 basic discretionary operating mill levy. I'll entertain a motion. I make a motion to adopt the basic discretionary operating mill levy of 0.748 mills, which is 2.554% more than the rollback rate. Second it. Have a motion by Ms. Bullock, second by Ms. Graham. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries 5-0. The next to adopt the 2014-15 local capital improvement fund mill levy. I'll make a motion to adopt the capital improvement fund mill levy of 1.500 mills, which is 2.54% more than the rollback rate. I'll second it. I have a motion by Ms. Graham, second by Ms. McKinnon. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries 5-0. Next to adopt the 2014-15 total mill levy. I'll uh, make a motion to adopt the total millage levy of 7.222 mills, which is 0.86% more than the rollback rate. I'll second it. I have a motion by Ms. McKinnon, second by Ms. Uh, Kirikus. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries 5-0. Number eight, adopt tentative 2014-15 through 2018-19 educational facilities plan. I'll move to adopt the tentative 2014-15 through 2018-19 educational facilities plan. I second it. I have a motion by Ms. Kirikas, second by Ms. Bullock. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries 5-0. Number nine, adopt the 2014-15 tentative budget, all funds, and set the public hearing for the 2014-15 final budget Thursday, September 18th, 2014 at 7 o'clock p.m. I make a motion to adopt the 2014-15 tentative budget of $312,462,943 and to set the public hearing for the 2014-15 final budget for Thursday, September 18, 2014 at 7 p.m. in the Teacher Training Center at Fleming Island High School. I'll second it. I have a motion by Ms. Bullock, second by Ms. Graham. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries 5-0. And I commend y'all for doing it in order. That made it really easy to remember who did what. Okay, number 10, professional service con services contract with Clay County Health Department. Um, Dr. Copeland, did you want to? No, ma'am. Who, who is, is does we, anybody want to say anything? Mr. Bickner? Have you got anything you want to say about this? No, I think this came from... Um, Sheila Gann. Sheila Gann. Mm -hmm. It's to uh, authorize the Clay uh, uh, County Health Department to offer vaccinations for our people. Right. I'll entertain a motion. I'll move um, approval. And I'll second. Wait a minute. Who made the... Ms. Uh, motion by Ms. Graham, second by Ms. Caracas. All, any discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries 5-0. Superintendent request. Um, 
Miss Adams is uh, having some issues with her father. Um, they moved him into Haven Hospice today. Oh, dear. So um, just keep her in your thoughts and prayers. I know she'd appreciate it. And that's all. Sorry to hear that. Okay. And school board request, anyone? I do. I just, um, it's not really a question. I just had a question that I wanted to ask. Um, I know there's a lot going on in the news about the whole illegal immigration thing and all these kids that are kind of flooding into these states and, you know, you're hearing about kids that are pouring into school districts and schools and the concern over, you know, um, any kind of diseases that they may be carrying. I, and I'm just asking the question, I don't know, do we have anything, any kind of a contingency plan or anything for like that? I can't imagine that we've ever even dealt with something like that before, but, and I don't know that it's gonna happen in Clay County, but I'm just curious to know if we have anything, if we've ever had to put a contingency plan together for an influx of students coming in, you know, anything like that. That's not a plan I have on the shelf behind my desk, no ma'am. Okay. <laughs> I, I can address part of that. Mm -hmm. um, we've had to deal with things similar to this when we began to have a lot of children who were abandoned uh, by their parents in this last recession. And so we would get children showing up from Oklahoma at three in the morning uh, at grandma's house, or we would get children who just showed up with strangers who were in tow, they were safe, they weren't needing to be held, uh, reported to DCF. But under the Federal McKinney-Vento Act, we are required to take those as homeless children. Mm -hmm. And we have done that, and then being homeless, we can delay the, um, the proof of some inoculations and vaccinations, but it's not an indefinite thing. So there are circumstances where we take children and we get them first, make sure they're safe, and ask questions later, but within due course. Uh, where we are, we don't have a whole lot of that from Central America. You'd have a much bigger problem with that in Polk County, Hillsboro, um, and the southern counties. Um, but we, we have the, the knowledge and the ability to deal with it as long as we don't have to deal with 60,000 students at once. Right, okay. We have a lot of students come to us after Hurricane Katrina. Yeah, I think that was probably the last big influx we had. So <clears throat> it was hard we, to prove their shot records because most yeah. of it was lost. Do we, what are, what is our requirements? I mean, are we required to feed them, to house them, to, I mean, what, what are, what are typically we required as a school district to provide for in a situation like that? I'm not sure. Education. We don't have the capability to house them education. if they qualify so for education. free and reduced education. lunch. We could feed them breakfast and lunch, and in that case, if they had nothing, they would. We would figure out how sure. to feed them while they're in our care. Mm -hmm. um, but that that would be a, a big uh, uh, effort with DCF, which we we would make happen. I mean, we we work with DCF all okay. the time. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other? Board. I'd just like to commend Eric for being here today. Thank you so much for coming. And um, also, I know teachers are getting ready to go back to school, and I wish them the best. And uh, I think there's a get-together this week, and I hope everything goes well for everybody. Okay. If there's no other board comments, the meeting is adjourned. And we do have an executive session now. And where are we going to meet? Back over here? Okay. Is this, it won't be real long. A short, short executive session, right.